What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Tuesday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralt. You guys can follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt. Following a one in one flat night on Monday, we get the WNBA get bet wrong. We get the baseball bet right. We get the run line plus 105 to come in. We lose 1.1 on the WNBA, so down 0.5. So pretty much a flat start to the week. So not the greatest of starts, not the worst of starts. We head towards a Tuesday where I will give you another college football bet, and I'll give you two baseball plays here on a Tuesday. One of the last times we will be forced to bet just baseball on Tuesday. We'll get into some other college football games and other things that we can bet into on Tuesdays, but right now we're still betting baseball today. We'll bet golf tomorrow. We'll bet college football Thursday, college football Friday, college football Saturday, college football Sunday, in the Monday and then we're back to Tuesday of next week where that probably will be the next time we bet baseball. So take that for what it is. I've been horrific in baseball, like you guys know, but it is football season. So I'll give you give you another college full play for week number one in college football coming up here in just one second. But before we do that, again, the reminder for all customers, if you want a three-week free trial of the, un, the NFL Sunday ticket, from YouTube TV and YouTube and FanDuel, you're going to go to bettingpros.com slash FanDuel. Bettingpros.com slash FanDuel. $5 bet gets you a three-week free trial of the NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV. This is available to all customers of FanDuel to get the three-week free trial of the Sunday ticket. Bet $5 to win that three or to get that three-week trial of the NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube TV and YouTube bettingpros.com slash FanDuel to get in, hit the join now button, and you are good to go there with that offer. Now, a couple of quick things here at the top before we get to the picks exactly. Now, I'm giving you a college football bet every day this week. Okay, so we got one of those coming up here in just one second. I gave you a Super Bowl future already. I may give in I may give you a couple of other future bets as well before we get done with this, but overall, it's great to have college football back. It's great to take a look at what's happening in college football. And since it's such a gigantic weekend of games, we're spacing it out, giving you a chance to let the games breathe. We talked about Clemson and Georgia last night. Let's stay in the ACC. ACC versus SEC. It's Miami against Florida. Miami on the road. Florida at home. Number opened up at three. Was bet right down to two and a half. Home dog plus three makes sense. Take Florida, right? All right, so let's talk about this matchup a little bit because this is fascinating. Now, there's a lot of hype around Miami, okay? There's a lot of, like, this number doesn't seem right situation. Miami is loaded. Cam Ward is the quarterback. Now, this was the number one get, the number one want for quarterback in the transfer portal. Cam Ward decided to go to college, stay in college, go to Miami, go play with their skill players at the U, and not go to the NFL. He needs to play well in games like this. Look, the swamp's going to be rocking, but I cannot bet on Graham Mertz. I'm sorry. I watched him at Wisconsin. I watched him last year here at Florida. I'm just not jumping up and down here. People are saying this number says something's wrong here. You know, take Florida. They're at home. Take the home dog. I get all that, but I think it's favored and over. I think Miami is going to score a ton of points here, and I'm not so sure how many points Florida scores, to be frank. I lean towards the over, but I just think Miami to cover the two and a half points is just not, you know, don't overthink this. I think don't get into the nuances and try to find different reasons and different plays as to why Florida is going to win. Miami went seven and six last year. Miami won their first four first four games last year before things went really south. Florida was five and seven. Billy Napier is very much on the hot seat. You can say the same thing about Mario Cristobal, but the transfer portal was better for Miami. They have a better quarterback. Graham Mertz is a game manager, better quarterback. I like the running backs that Miami has. I like the defensive line that Miami has. I like the defense as a whole that Miami has. I like the offensive line for Miami. I just think skill by skill, player by player, yes, they're on the road. Yes, it's the first game of the year, but it's a two and a half point number. 
I'm taking Miami. You guys know how I feel about Miami going over nine wins on their win total. I like Miami a lot this year. I'm high on them. I think Miami will win the ACC. Miami or Clemson will win the ACC. Took the ACC team last last night, yesterday, here with against the SEC. I'm doing it again. Now, again, they may not. Well, I think they do win. I, think, I don't know if Clemson beats Georgia, but 14 and a half points, I think we're good on the cover there. Georgia may win the game, but I don't think Florida wins the game here. I don't think Florida with Billy Napier at home. I think this is enough to a rough start here. I like Miami. I like Miami's skill players. I like Miami's quarterback better. I like their running attack better. I like their defensive line better. Miami just, you know, I'm sorry. This is not Steve Spurrier's Florida Gators. Give me Miami minus two and a half for 1.1 units. Okay, bets for today. Let's talk White Sox, Garrett Crochet. I'm not betting run line. That hit for us yesterday, but I'm not actually going to bet the run line. Total is eight in this game. And Garrett Crochet at home, last time out, went two and a third, gave up seven earned runs to the Cubs, a seven six loss. He's going about four innings. In his starts since the 6th of July, Garrett Crochet has gone 4-2-1-4-3, four, 4-2-1-3, four, 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 and four innings worth of work. He did win his last two starts, 6-2-5-4, lost 7-6, lost 6-2, lost 6-3. Lost Total is eight. This would be a 4-0-1 four and, four, oh and one record over the last five games featuring Garrett Crochet of the White Sox with a total of of eight. His ERA at home is 3.39. He's going up against an offense that can score. And the White Sox, seeing the Texas Rangers in Andrew Heaney, has got to give Texas, got to give Chicago some hope to win a game. You know, they've lost 11 games on the run line. They've lost, I think it's 11 of 12 games now overall. Andrew Heaney on the road this year is not good. 4.41 ERA, a 2 and 7 record, a 276 opposing batting average, 34 earned runs in 69 and one third innings worth of work, but the game log is ugly for Andrew Heaney. In game started by him, yes, his last start was pretty good. At home, 5 innings, no earned runs, a 1 nothing win over the Pirates, but before that, 4-3, 8-7, 4-3, one 6-5. All games going over the 8. Two losses in the previous two starts. Gave up four earned runs and three earned runs. But on the road, three earned runs against the Yankees, six earned runs against the St. Louis Cardinals, and four earned runs against the Toronto Blue Jays. I think the play in this game is the over. Not coming in and betting the run line. You can bet the run line if you want, but I don't know. I mean, this could be a game that the White Sox win. I mean, they might snap their losing streak here with this game simply because of what... Andrew Heaney looks like. I, I just I think he gets hit. He gets hit by everybody. So I think the better play is White Sox and the Rangers over eight for 1.15 units here today. Lastly, Mets and the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks are red hot. This series is tied at two games apiece. But the Diamondbacks are 37 and 26 at home. The Mets are 33 and 30 on the road. You go back and look at the Diamondbacks record. They had the off day yesterday. They swept the Red Sox. They swept the Marlins on the road. Pretty impressive after losing three straight to the Rays. They've come back and they've won six straight games. 7-5-4-1-12-2-10-8-3-1-9-6 for the, these victories. Every win so far during this six-game win streak has been on the run line. And if you want to bet the run line here, I, I don't hate it. I mean, if you want to get involved and say they win by more than one run, I, I mean, talking about the Diamondbacks are laying one and a half runs. It, it's not, you know, they're catching one and a half. Depending on the book, they're catching one and a half or laying one and a half. It's plus 173 for them, but it's Erod up against Manaya. And frankly, look, Eduardo Rodriguez has pitched three times for the Diamondbacks. He's won all three games. He's 2-0. Team's 3-0. 3.94 ERA. He's just back into the bigs, but he's a big lefty with a big curveball and a guy who doesn't get hit all that often right now. One, three, and three earned runs so far in the three earned runs and three uh, uh, games he has started. Five and two-thirds, five innings and five and a third. So, I mean, Erod's going to go five into the sixth inning. 
ERA at home is 5.4, not great, 286 opposing batting average. But I think when you look at this Diamondback offense and what they've been doing and how much they have scored, Shamanai is okay. I mean, he's not a great pitcher. He's not bad. Nine and five with a 3.48 ERA for him. You know, in his last road start from Anaya, he lost four nothing. Went three innings, gave up three earned runs against the Cardinals. He shut him out seven innings, no earned runs, and a six nothing victory. And then against the Yankees, four and two thirds in two earned runs and a 12 3 win over the Yankees. He lost six to four to the Miami Marlins, gave up five earned runs in five innings in that game. Six games in a row. Yes, the day off makes it a little bit scary, and I don't love the bet as much as I would have if they had kept going. But I just think this Diamondbacks team is playing so well. They come back at home, and I think they've got a shot to really do some damage here. Against the Padres, the Mets lost two of three. Uh, give me the Diamondbacks. It's a pick em. Minus 110. Bet the streak. Diamondbacks to win. You can bet run line if you want, but I'm just going to bet them to win the game. To win the game. I mean, in terms of how they have played, 75 and 56 for the Diamondbacks are over 84 and a half win. Bet is very alive here for the Diamondbacks. They've won six games in a row. Let's make it seven. Arizona money line for 1.1 units. Okay, so three bets. Miami against Florida State against Florida on the road. Miami laying two and a half points for 1.1 units for Saturday. The White Sox today over eight up against the Rangers for 1.15 units and the Diamondbacks money line for minus 110, 1.1 units up against the New York Mets here today to bet on the red hot Arizona Diamondbacks. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt every morning. It is the Daily Juice podcast presented by bettingpros.com.